So here we are at the next part. We're now taking the boot lid off this car. And the first thing I came across was I just snapped a bolt straight out of this uh, passenger side hinge here. They were in there very tight, so we're carefully undoing those. And we'll get this off of the car now. Okay, keep screwing. Okay, so let's keep undoing that. They're being fairly tricky, aren't they? Very, very tight. Mm -hmm. So the truck lids come off and one side, the two bolts come out nice and easy, the other two snapped off, which is going to make life interesting because the remainder of the studs are still, still in there as you can see. So I've got to use a uh, stud remover tool to try and get them out. Hopefully I can, hopefully they're not rusted in there, otherwise it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to try and get that out. Now one of the main problems I've had with stripping paint from the body of this car is that it's got several layers of paint on there and the stuff that I was using just wasn't powerful enough to get through all layers. So I've gone out to uh, my local automotive paint store and I've got this stuff here and uh, what they recommend is basically just to score the surface of the paint job with a paint scraper and uh, apply this stuff on and hopefully this will get it through pretty much close to bare metal. Okay, so that's all completely coated. Sounds like a bit of a barbecue going on at the moment. If you can hear all that bubbling away. But hopefully this stuff here is a lot stronger than the stuff I have been using. If it gets through 80% of that paint and what's, uh, what's under it, I'll be happy. Okay, so the paint stripper that I've just used, I have to say is better than what I have been using because it's managed to penetrate at least a couple of coats of paint. I managed to strip the, uh, the two coats of paint away with a high pressure spray gun. So I'm going to put one more coat of the paint stripper on that primer and hopefully it gets that off and if it does then uh, that's the product that I'll be using from this point on. So that's after two coats of paint stripper and uh, high pressure spray on that so it's got most of it off which isn't too bad. So now I'm just going to come along with this tool here which is called a wheel brush and get the rest of that paint off. So I'm just going to show you again how quickly this tool can get uh, get this paint off. It's called a, uh, a uh, wheel brush. And one of the best things about it is it doesn't uh, do any harm to the metal whatsoever. It doesn't scratch it, doesn't distort it, just gets the, the paint off fairly quickly. So that's it. The top of the trunk lid is all the way back to bare metal. Uh, the only poor part I found of it was just this patch here, this rust patch. Now, uh, when I first got the car, this area of the trunk lid was all blistered up in paint. And I it looked like it had uh, suffered from heat on, on from the underside but it's actually rust that uh, been painted straight over and uh, I hit it with a fairly coarse wire wheel my DA sander 40 grit sandpaper but the thing that uh, got it off bet was best was my my wheel brush so I've just got a bit more work to do on that that uh, looks like this area of the car once upon a time had uh, completely lost its paint and sat in the weather and rusted in that very spot and uh, looks like the rust has, hasn't broken through the steel but it's really soaked in to this patch here so I've got to do some treatment on here and then I'll uh, flip this thing over and do the underside put it in edge primer so it's a fair bit of work done on this trunk lid already and um, you can see from that body filler in there that's just something I stuck in there temporarily to, to fill in gaps but I've basically put on new end pieces here, all well, the ends of these wings, that's all new, this is all new, same with the other side, 
and now I've just got to come back and get rid of all this old body filler in there, get that out of there and put a nice line inside here once again. Same on the other side and then try my chrome pieces, make sure they fit up nicely and continue on with body work on this, uh, the end of this boot lid here. Now I've just turned the, uh, the trunk lid over and I'm going to try and get these broken studs out of here. And fingers crossed, I'm going to be able to do this without, uh, without calling in a professional bolt extractor to do this. So I've got uh, this stuff here, which is WD-40. It's uh, something that will penetrate, hopefully, and get between any sort of rusty areas and help loosen that up. Um, I've got my kit here of uh, extractor screw set. A couple of drill bits and uh, a drill, and hopefully that's all that's going to be required to get these out. So I'll just start with... Uh, lubricating that just let that sit in there for a little bit now most of these screw kits will give you a uh, a guide with a scale that uh, tells you what kind of drill bit to use or what diameter drill bit to use depending on the uh, stud removing screw that you're going to be using Then it's a matter of using a center punch, and you've really got to punch a dot right in the center of the stud. Now the idea of this is, as you do it up, it actually bites into the stud and hopefully that will come out or it's going to break the screw extractor. doesn't seem to be biting in there, so I'll just try a slightly larger screw. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is coming out. I haven't broken my screw extract yet, but the stud may be turning. No, I've just broken the screw extractor, so that's the end of that one. And that's not something I'm going to be able to drill out, I don't think anyway, so... They are really jammed in there. So I'm a bit reluctant to try this one. Let's see what happens. Can't do any more damage. Okay, oh yeah. see if I can break two in a row. So, that's going to have to go to a uh, bolt removal or stud removal specialist. And he'll probably weld something onto the end of that and pull it out. So, uh, I think we'll give up on that. We tried. The other two came out okay. And just get back to stripping the paint off this underside and get this in etch primer.
So the underside of the uh, the deck lid is finally stripped back to bare metal. This part was this was just a massive job um, getting to all those folds and crevices in there. That wasn't wasn't easy, but it's done. Um, now it's a matter of just getting all the seam sealer out of the edges all the way around and uh, get it cleaned up on both sides and get it an etch primer. So then I can start working on uh, these areas here. And this this is the only area where there is rust which is uh, not too bad, so it's just this top corner, a little hole there, and I'll have to make a, a patch in this corner here. Now this would have been much easier to uh, get sandblasted underneath, but uh, when I did that to the hood, the underside ended up with getting a lot of grit inside, or between the two layers of skin, so I didn't want to do that on the deck lid, because you can see there's some fairly large holes there, and different spots where it can easily get in and it's just an eternity to get that stuff out. So uh, I've done this by hand. It's taken pretty much a whole day, but at least it's done and uh, it's pretty clean. <laughs> Okay, so that's now in a protective etch primer coating, which is all I really wanted to do. I've still got bodywork to do on it, so I've got to finish out these uh, rear wings that I made on it, so that's all got to be tidied up. And then the same's got to be done to the underside, so for now, that's protect so tomorrow. I'll do uh, the same on the flip side, and then do some bodywork on it. <laughs> 